Now, authorities here in the US are stepping up their investigation into Michael Jackson's death. The Los Angeles Police Department has asked federal drug agents to join their probe into allegations the King of Pop was over-prescribed painkillers, sedatives and antidepressants. The powerful drug, Diprovan, also known as Propofol, was found inside Jackson's home and attorney Patrick Mullen is a federal sentencing specialist. He's in New York and joins us now. Good morning, Patrick. Who will the Drug Enforcement Agency be investigating? Samantha, good morning. The Drug Enforcement Administration, which is the federal uh, drug administration, uh, will be looking into physicians, they'll be looking into pharmacists, they'll be looking into anybody associated with the prescribing of medications for Michael Jackson, as well as how Deprovan, which is primarily used uh, for anesthesia, somehow find its way into his home. Patrick, uh, what does it mean to have the DEA on board here? How serious is that? Samantha, what I'd like to do is, is to contrast the circumstances which uh, existed before Michael Jackson's death to what exists now. My understanding is that some of these physicians may have had a kind of personal relationship with him, may have been to his place in Neverland. Um, these physicians are now going to be in a very different place. They're going to be in investigation land. That means that their records are going to be subject to search warrants. It means that there are going to be interviews with people who they've been dealing with. It means that they are going to now be under the microscope of the very powerful Federal Drug Enforcement Administration. Okay, thank you, Patrick. We have to leave it there, but uh, thank you very much for joining us, particularly on your public holiday. We appreciate it. Now, I'll have more from Los Angeles shortly, including the Australian Connection, the Adelaide guitarist who played with Michael Jackson during his final rehearsal. Now she'll play, unfortunately, at his memorial.